Okay, here's a trick for squaring any number that ends in a 5. All you do is take the tens digit, in this case 3, multiply it by the next highest number. So 3 times the next highest number is 4. That gives you 12. Then just attach a 25 to it. So there's your answer, 1,225. So 7, that's highest number is 8. That gives you a 56. Then just attach 25. 5,625. If there's two digits, treat it as 11. So do 11 times 12. That gives you 132. 12 is the next highest number. Then attach 25 to it. 13,225. If there's a decimal, just multiply 6 times the next highest number. That gives you 42, but this time attach 0 0.25 to it. Okay, now here's why this works. All of these numbers have a tens digit or something that could be multiplied by 10 plus a 5. So they all fit into that pattern. Okay. In this case, t is equal to 3 in this case. Now when you square this out, you get 100t squared plus 100t plus 25. Okay. Using foil or whatever method you've been taught to square that. This is 100t times 1. This is 100t times t. So I'm going to factor out a t plus a 1. So I factor out 100t and that leaves me with t plus 1 and 25. So here's the answer. There's a tens digit, which in our case up here was 3. This is the number one higher than it. That gives me 3 times 4 times 100. That gives me 1,200. And that's like 12 blank blank. And what goes into the blank? 25. So that's why the trick always works. See you next trick.